chattels Don't you wanna hear some chattels? Hello, yes, and it is time for another chat tale. Um, we're completely not talking about music, <laughs> but um, just just a, a thought that came into my head, and I needed to to tell you. <laughs> All right, so when I was like sixteen, seventeen, um, me and my pals were. We're, we're right into having scooters, you know, mopeds, whatever you want to call them, you know what I mean? Like, not I'm not talking Vespers and Lambrettas. Um, I'm talking more modern. I had a Jalera runner. Friends of mine had Peugeot Speed Fights, all sorts of bikes, even a City Express. Um, anyway, the, this this there was one day and there was like I don't know probably about six seven of us on our bikes like round Ingester Road where we all used to live and hang about um, and so we're all sitting there what should we do what should we do so they said um, all right sweet let's um, let's go down to South End for the day it was like all right sweet so we all um, filled our bikes up with petrol and got everything we needed and that and so we set off and it was quite funny like because um my friend dean used to have this moped or whatever you call it scooter or whatever it was a um it was peugeot but it was a, a bike called a zenith s and um it was this like little black and red thing he had and um like most of my pals at that time I might have been a bit older than them and that's why I had like a, a Gilera Runner 125 um, I was 17 I think most of them lot were all 16 so they were still on their 50cc bikes um, but I can remember on, on the way down to um, to South End like on whatever A road we was on or whatever and um, Dean had recently had his bike de-restricted which is something that, that everybody does you know what I mean just gets gets a little bit more out of them <laughs> but um so we're, we're flying down this A road and Dean is just off like a whip it he's just like Phew! he's flying this little 50cc he was a little fella and the bike was I don't know he, his bike was just a lot faster than all the other 50cc bikes so I had to keep whacking my throttle back and, and catching up with him and saying, Dean, like, can you slow down a bit, please, mate? Because you're like, you're already in South End and then like, I ain't even started. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so, but the funny thing was we, we got to South End and we was driving around South End a little bit and then Dean's bike just conked out and I, we was like, oh my God, he just, burnt the life out of the engine or whatever flying down there so then th th that that starts it off so we're all there Dean can't go anywhere but so we've had to phone his brother Ian and basically say Ian can you bring your van to South End and pick your brother up and his bike because otherwise he ain't getting out of here do you know what I mean so we had to sit there for like over an hour while waiting for Ian to turn up like and Ian eventually turns up with his little van and basically they stick the bike in the back Dean jumps in the front with him and then they're off you know what I mean like and at the time we, we was I'm in an hour in a bat should we just go home now should we just follow Ian back like and then I don't know why but some of us were like, no, nah, no, nah, let, let's have it, let's have it. We're in South End, let's have it. So we we was like, said goodbye to Dean and Ian and, and just, we was just like flying about South End, you know what I mean? You get all the people down there with their silly cars and that. Well, I'm, I'm saying silly. When I was 17, 18, I, I was exactly the same with my motors. Um, but yeah, there's just silly cars, isn't there, at the end of the day, like, and you know what I mean? Doing Citroen Saxos up to be some stooped up little car you know what I mean it ain't nothing what's a, what's a Citroen Saxo at the end of the day you know what I mean but um, when you're that age you just love it <laughs> so anyway we spent the day down there doing this doing that go, driving around on our bikes eating fish and chips whatever so and then when it 
it, it came, it was in the evening, quite late, and we was like, right, let's go home now, like, so, so, on my bike, my petrol gauge must have been broken, yeah, because we're, we're at a petrol station, everybody's filling up, there was like, there was, I can't even remember who there was, there was me, James Gummer, Paul Hanyans, Darren Mills, Dean's already gone home, and that might have been it, you know, just the four of us. So we're at this petrol station, and all three of them have filled up, and I'm looking at my gauge, and I'm like, still got a full tank of fuel. Like, I should, should well, it's a bit stupid to think that I can drive around on 125cc two-stroke and not burn any fuel, you know what I mean? Throughout the day, I shut silly, silly me. Anyway, we so they filled up, and then, boom, we're on the A-road when we're on our way home now I'm not even sure what way we came into London but for some mad reason we just ended up we was in Holborn don't ask me how or why but we was in Holborn and then boom my bike starts coughing and spluttering and then boom it stops and we're like everyone stopped and like we're like fuck and then we, we're like we we realise that it, it, it has to be the fuel situation I said do you know what I mean? I straight away knew that I should have filled up when them not filled up. But we was like, what are we going to do? Like, and all that. And, like, and um, they, James and Paul said, don't worry, we'll go and find the petrol station and fill up some Coke bottles of fuel and bring it back to TR. Like, and, I, and I said, oh, sweet, all right. I said, they're probably going to make you buy a jerry can because I don't think they're going to let you put fuel into Coke bottles. But all right. And, and Darren... Um, staunch as anything he's like I oh, don't worry Chapman I'll, I'll, I'll wait with you mate and I was like nice one Darren cheers mate top fella no but um, so anyway James and Paul have gone off to get me fuel supposedly and me and Darren are sitting there like and while we're sitting there it's so funny because we're sitting there like on mopeds both of us yeah and then a, a police van's gone past and they're just all looking at us and that's it they start to come over and they're like right what's going on <laughs> and all this like and we're like trying to tell him that I've run out of fuel or whatever and Darren's saying that he's just waiting with me like until the others get back with fuel for us or whatever and he's like alright alright but we had to like show our um, insurance details and all, all that stuff that they asked for anyway they was happy in the end so they drove off and left us anyway we're sitting there and, and we must have been there an hour and a half by this time and we're just like they're not coming back man and then Darren's like with me like and he's his bike's full of fuel we could have just drove off and gone home you know what I mean right but he's like I said to him I'm gonna have to push my bike to the nearest petrol station you know what I mean so I think there's there was a so-called Texaco garage in Clarkenwell Road, which weren't far from where we were. It weren't close, but it weren't far. You know what I mean? Pushing a moped, it, it, it was quite far, but what? But I'll tell you what, right? I had to push my bike to this thing and it's taken about 45 minutes, yeah? And Darren, even though he's full of fuel in his car, he's walking next to me, pushing his bike along, yeah? unbelievable top fella do you know what I mean what, what can I say he, he didn't want to leave me on my own like whatever he, he stuck with me and pushed his bike all the way to this petrol station and then basically I filled up my bike with fuel I think he might have even had a top up as well um, and then I've hit the electric start and after a second of <laughs> We had life in the old bike. So, I mean, it, it, uh, it was mental. Um, we jumped on our bikes and we drove home. Darren was living in Burley Road, so we get to Burley Road before we hit him, guess that, you know what I mean? So he's like, I've stopped there with him, had a chat with him for me, thanked him. You know what I mean? Didn't have to do that, Darren, but I was seriously take my hat off all day long to you thank you mate top top fella um so yeah i left him in burley road and then i've sort of like drove round to ingesta 
gone through in Gastar and then gone up the Ambrook Hill to where my ramp was because I used to take my bike up onto the balcony. There's no leaving bikes downstairs, you know what I mean? Be there five seconds. And it's funny because, like, as I was going up my ramp, I looked down and to where James used to park his bike, like, and it's like he's his bike was there chained to the fence he, he's indoors Paul Hanyan still live around in Gesta so he's gone home whatever um, but do you know what I mean like and I'm I'm just there like this is good a good couple of hours later or whatever and I was thinking oh. so anyway went home um, parked the bike up outside of mine stuck about a million locks on it because you have to especially in London um, and then um yeah, the next day after when I woke up or whatever, I went downstairs like I think it was the Sunday or whatever, and um, just like everyone's out and chatting and that, and James was there, and I was like, James, what's happening, bruv? You know what I mean? We had no calls, no no nothing. You know what I mean? You didn't tell us that you couldn't get fuel or whatever, and he apologised and said that they they couldn't find a petrol station and and like whatever do you know what i mean but they didn't come back so what can you say you know what i mean life's life in it um but the old moral with this story is cheers darren mills i'm telling you what mate I'll, I'll never forget that my whole life you know what i mean that was absolutely amazing you're a geezer yeah, so, all right, so that was a little bit of a different chapter this time, but, um, yeah, sweet. I hope you've enjoyed that little one, and I will chat to you soon, baby. Mwah. Chat tales. Don't you want to hear some chat tales? <laughs>